So indirection is also used in two features in Ignition called the template repeater and the template canvas. And we'll talk about the repeater one here first. The template repeater lets you automatically repeat a single template any number of times. You drop a template repeater on the window, it looks like an empty container, and you select the template that you want to repeat. And it fills up the container, um, the empty container with rep repetitions of that template. The benefit of being able to auto-repeat a template as many times as you want is that it makes it easy to quickly create screens that represent many similar pieces of equipment. It also lets you create dynamic screens that automatically configure themselves based on configuration stored in a database or tag structure. That makes the, both the components and the window structures dynamically variable. The configuration of the components can come from a database, and that makes for very nice uh, projects that can be driven by a user in the runtime. Now, the template canvas is like the template repeater. It's a component that can allow you to dynamically create any template at the runtime. It allows you to use many different kinds of templates as you want any number of times on that canvas. The number of templates that appear on the screen can change. The number is determined by the database or whatever you link that template canvas to. And this, this component is an added functionality to the vision module of Ignition version 7.7. .7. So let's take a look at both of these, uh, these components in action here in Ignition, the template repeater and the template canvas, and see why we would use them. So I've all, I already have, let's look at the template repeater one first. And if I go over here to the right-hand side and scroll down to the component palette, I'll see under the containers, I'll have the template repeater. I can simply just put it on the window and make it as big or as small as I want. And this one, as you can see, it's an empty canvas. There's nothing in there. Now, what I've done already is I've created an um, uh, indirect template here. We did the motor in the previous one, but I've created another one called tank. And so all the tank one does is basically have a tank graphic, and I happen to have 25 different tanks. Okay, and so each, each one has simply an index as to which tank I'm going to point to as that, as that parameter. I'm going to take advantage of this fact by going to the repeater, and I say I want to repeat uh, the template here, which is variable, uh, sorry, uh, indirect and tank. I want to repeat that many number of times. Now, when I repeat it, I want to flow it. The layout style is going to be a flow, and I'm going to go from you know, vertical and left to top, and I'll put a little gap between all of these, a 5 and 5 pixel gap. And now I go up here to my repeat count, and I say simply repeat it 25 times. And so if I do that, now you can see that on the screen, 25 templates automatically got generated for me dynamically. And I have a scroll bar here because I have more that I can see on the screen. And so I got tank 100 all the way down to tank 124. And so, of course, we can link this count to something in the database or maybe to a tag. So I happen to have a tag over here called tank count. I can simply drag that down to the repeat count. And now you can see there's 10, because the value is 10. If I go and make a change that, put it to 5, I'll see there's only 5 here. If I go back to 25, I can see now there's 25. And of course, all of these tanks are pointing to tags over here that I've created already, all these, uh, these tank tags with, with all the information I need to display that on the screen. The repeater can save you a lot of time, and it can allow you to drive the configuration of what's shown by a database query. So that in the runtime, you can create the tag dynamically, you can add a row in the database, that then will automatically show on the overview screen. Now the template canvas component is like the repeater, except for you can actually use multiple templates. And this is also driven, can be driven by a database, allowing you to put whatever heck you want on a screen. It can be any number of templates anywhere you want. And so it's driven by a data set over here. So there's a templates data set, which basically contain a row for every template you want to show somewhere in that template by specifying the X, Y, width, height, Z order, all of that. So I can bind this to an SQL query or to a tag we have in the system, whatever I want. In my case, I'm going to do an SQL query. I'm simply going to say select star from canvas config. And that's a table that I've created earlier here, which just simply has the configuration I want to show. And I'm going to bring it back to just here on the screen just once. And it's going to go in my, from my, D, my DB database. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And now you can see that it's got um, these different templates on the screen. And, and that was what's configured there. And of course, you can see that this is no smoke and mirrors. It's one Canvas component, and I just simply have things that are showing inside of it. Now, if you look at the database here, I'm using MySQL. This is the table that's, that drives that configuration. If I want to add something new, let's say I want to add another LED. But LED 5, I'm going to do the LED um, template. I'm going to just kind of put the information I need. Uh, I want to be shown at, uh, at 210, and let's say I want to go 420 and 90. 
and I want to be 20, uh, width is 90, height is 25, and I want it to point to a particular tag. So I'm going to say, hey, the tag path to this one's going to be random, integer, I don't know, let's say 2. And so by adding something new in the database, and I, if I press apply, it's going to insert a new row that I have. I can go back to the designer, and I can just go refresh that uh, query there, and now you can see there's an extra LED here, right, right here. Uh, below these four. So I, I was dynamically created and if I had a screen, uh, a, you know, some screen in the application, I was like a WYSIWYG, a way of, of putting new things on, on the template canvas, the user can actually drive what they see, like a widget dashboard or PID diagram or whatever you want to make completely 100% dynamic. Templates are so useful that you can put templates inside of other templates. It's a technique called template composition. Let's say you have a valve, a pump, and a tank that you all want to use together in the same way for a particular process. You have other valves and pumps in the enterprise, but they all look identical. You can embed a valve or pump object inside a larger group of, group of objects, which means you're embedding a template inside of a larger template. So I'm going to show you a demo of this one. It's actually a very simple concept, but there's one thing you have to be careful about when you do this kind of template. So if I go down here and create a a new template here. I'm going to call this my larger template. I can, of course, put other templates inside of it. And so let's say I go here to my static and I put uh, this process mixer in here and I go and put uh, in my indirect, I want to put a, a motor and I want to put maybe a tank in here and so on. I can actually embed many templates inside of other, another template. Now what's really important here is that if your templates that you're putting inside of the larger one are parameterized, you have to make sure that you add that parameter to the overall, the larger template. Uh, because you need to be able to pass information into those inside templates. So typically you would add one or more parameters here that you can use for on the parameters within that template. Thus allowing it to link to the appropriate place. So when you do have that all configured, then when you have that larger template, you can go to a screen and you can simply just drag it onto a screen and there you go, you've got the one that shows the, the, the right information. And you can use that many times. But the great thing is if you make a change to any of the templates inside of it, it obviously funnels through to the larger template there. 